It's not every day you're offered a truly superior alternative to the status quo. Smart Contracts 2, live on the Hedera mainnet. Smart contracts on Hedera are written in Solidity and offer predictable and inexpensive gas fees, fast and highly scalable transactions, and a carbon negative footprint. Build the next generation of decentralized applications. From financial services to network bridges, oracles, DAOs, and everything in between. Hedera, the trust layer of the internet. What future will you build? Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm so excited for today's call, which we're going to dive into Smart Contracts 2.0, which as of this week are available on the Hedera mainnet. This comes only a few short months after their initial announcement, which is some pretty incredible engineering work, I must say. To share more about this, we're joined by our VP of Engineering, Richard, as well as one of our council members from FIS, Cyprusad. Before I pass it off to Richard, I'd love to set the stage. Hedera is building the trust layer of the internet. Now, this is an ambitious goal, and we need your help to support that. We've already assembled some of the world's foremost organizations to do so and seen billions of transactions flow through the network. As you'll hear more from Richard and Sai with Smart Contracts 2.0 online, they join our consensus service and token service to become a true unified platform for building powerful, scalable, and carbon negative decentralized applications and protocols using Hashgraph consensus. This is a really exciting time to be a part of the Hedera ecosystem, and I can't wait to see everything that you will build on the Hedera network. With that, I'll pass it over to Richard who's going to tell us more about how we built the EVM-compatible Hedera Smart Contract Service. Hello, Hedera community. My name is Richard Baer, and I am very excited to be here tonight to tell you a little bit about the Smart Contracts 2.0 work. So to start with, I wanted to talk about this release. This was a major release for us. We've performed a lot of uh, really heavy engineering work in order to replace our existing Smart Contracts implementation with a brand new one that has high performance, full compatibility, and deep integrations into the Hedera network. So first, uh, compatibility. Um, compatibility was one of the things that we knew we needed to address in our smart contracts platform. There's an entire ecosystem built around the Ethereum uh, smart contract system, and we wanted to be able to tap into that and to provide some additional value over and above what Ethereum mainnet gives you today, specifically around pricing, consistent pricing and performance, um, and all the things that we are known for here at Hedera. So we wanted to take and or create a compatible EVM that was running inside our Hedera mainnet nodes. And we looked at all different types of options that were available to us. We looked at writing our own EVM, we looked at existing off-the-shelf EVMs, both native and in Java, and we found the Hyperledger Basu project, which is a compatible uh, Ethereum client written in Java. And we looked at the code, we were really impressed with the quality of the code and the, the, the capabilities that it had. So we decided to use that as the basis for our new EVM uh, in Hedera for smart contracts 2.0. In fact, we do use exactly the same code, not just the basis of it, it is the same EVM. And uh, we also uh, are maintainers on that along with consensus and others. And we are contributing fixes back to the Hyperledger Basu project as part of this entire effort. So it's a real win all the way around for the community. For us, we're able to run this EVM in our system and it's a completely compatible EVM with Ethereum mainnet. This means that for the smart contracts that you have, we support the same set of byte codes. We support uh, the same kind of capabilities. Um, and we're building out more of the tooling and ecosystem around that to enable you to be able to, to use standard tools to be able to um, also deploy and develop with our um, EVM implementation. For example, we've added support to our mainnet for ECDSA keys. Uh, previously, we only supported ED25519 keys. And now we also support the ECDSA keys because that's what you were using. And so we wanted to make sure that we were um, adding that support as well so that you'd, it'd be a more seamless transition to be able to run your workloads on the Hedera network. Um, so the second component of that that I talked about was speed. 
Um, Hedera is known for its speed from the very beginning when Hedera came out with tremendous performance numbers, at low predictable pricing, that same model needed to be available for our smart contract solution. So we did a lot of work on the engineering level. And I talked a little bit about it in some previous webcasts that we've done about the, uh, the, the work we've done on our, our own special database that we use for storing um, the state from the Merkle tree, specifically for all the key values that are part of our smart contracts gets saved in these on-disk um, uh, database system. And it's incredibly fast. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, we have been profiling the EVM itself and all performance improvements that we do to the EVM are getting contributed back to Hyperledger Besu. Um, but we're also looking at performance uh, improvements in other parts of the system in order to make sure that we would have the speed that we needed. And I'm excited to be able to say that at launch with our smart contracts 2.0, we do as much EVM computation in one second as the Ethereum mainnet will do in 13 seconds. And we do it with low predictable fees. So it's a really exciting thing. It is very fast and we continue to work on speed um, improvements for future releases. Third, um, I mentioned integration. For us, the real power of the smart contracts is not just in the ability to write and deploy those smart contracts, even at high speeds and low predictable fees, but it's really the coupling of that with all of the APIs and capabilities that we have at the layer one level of our network that really gives us the, the true, you know, I hate to use the, the marketing word synergy, but truly the synergy between these two pieces, the net result of combining the uh, Hedera APIs with the smart contracts is much greater than the sum of the parts. Um, for example, in this release, we support the ability from within your smart contract to mint, burn, transfer, associate, and disassociate uh, tokens that were defined in the Hedera token service, both fungible and non-fungible tokens. So you can create those, those tokens inside the HTS using our Hedera API. And then from within the smart contract, you can actually go and perform any of those operations, for example, uh, token transfers between two parties. So there's some really strong capabilities that we've added, and we're working on adding even more and deeper capabilities. For example, the ability to use the Hedera consensus service that's coming in a future release that's hopefully not too far out. It'll give you a lot of great capabilities to be able to interact with and extend the existing APIs that we have on the Hedera network. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's coming up next. Um, I mentioned that we have a compatible Ethereum virtual machine. There's only one bytecode from the EVM that we have not implemented in this release, and it's coming very soon. There's a Hedera improvement proposal out for it. Um, we have implementation underway for it and testing, and hopefully it'll be available to you very soon in mainnet. And this is the create two bytecode. Um, it's used by certain advanced smart contracts, but certainly not all. Um, and by making this available, we make available the entire full set of EVM uh, bytecodes. Another thing that we're adding is support for contract owned tokens. So I mentioned that from a smart contract today on the release that's in mainnet, from a smart contract, you can burn, mint, associate, disassociate, and transfer tokens that were declared already in the Hedera token service. In a future release, in the near future, we will also support the ability to have contract owned tokens. That means that you will be able to create and manage the token exclusively from the smart contract. It won't even be possible to manage it outside the smart contract, which opens up some additional use cases where your users may want to know that for certain there will be no changes to that token other than what is declared and defined in the smart contract itself. So that's another feature we're working on. We're also working on improvements and uh, uh, say 
um, additional capabilities around tooling, like for example, with Ethers JS or Web3 JS and all the other tools that are used by smart contract developers, we're working on uh, making those available for um, use with the Hedera network. In addition to all the other SDKs that already have support for our smart contracts that we produce at Hedera, our JavaScript SDK, our um, Swift SDK that we are currently building, the Java SDK, the Go SDK, all these have cap these capabilities to work with our smart contract system. Um, another feature that we're working on is smart contract traceability. So in addition to having the logs that are produced by the smart contract, we also are going to be sending to the mirror nodes the uh, traces of which um, key values in your smart contract were read, which were written during a particular execution, as well as which pre-compile calls or other smart contract calls were made, whether they succeeded or failed, whether the main contract succeeded or failed, all that information is uh, being added that will give us good traceability uh, capabilities in our mirror node. In addition to that, the mirror node is working on adding support for EVM level traces, which will give us a tremendous amount of deeper inspection and information about what uh, happened during the execution of your smart contract. Now, I've talked a lot about the smart contract capabilities, but there are two additional things that I wanted to bring up. Um, one you may have heard about in the last week or two was a major announcement that the Hedera Governing Council is agreed to purchase the rights to the Hashgraph consensus algorithm. And what this means is that all of that code, which currently is available as open review from the platform, will become open source. And um, the, the hope, the intent, you know, what we're trying to do is build a strong open source community around these technologies. And so making this code open source is um, going to be a great thing for us and our community. Um, everybody will be able to not just see the code as you could do today in open review, but you'll also be able to contribute to it. It'll all be under the Apache 2 license and it'll just be a um, much better experience for open source developers to be able to contribute to and to make use of this code base. And finally, we're working on performance and scalability improvements across the board from gossip to our smart contract implementation to the EVM itself to um, our mirror nodes. We're constantly looking for ways to improve the performance and scalability of our system. I mean, one of the things that I love about Hedera, one of the reasons that I was so interested to come and work here is that we take performance and scalability so seriously. We take you know, real pride in our engineering and trying to do things the right way to really put effort into making the system good. And it's one of the reasons why we're successful as a company is because we do such a great job in performance and scalability, keeping our costs down and the performance really high. And we just will continue to invest in this area as we go forward. And finally, I would be remiss when talking about the future if I didn't mention that the engineering team here is hiring so if you're interested in being part of some cutting edge technology and a really exciting place to work, great group of people, then please come to the Hedera website, go find what jobs are open and, and apply. And we hope to be able to, to see you and talk with you soon. That's right, Richard. And for anyone looking to make a meaningful impact, please check out hedera.com slash careers. Now to get perspective from one of the world's largest financial service providers, and Hedera Governing Council member, FIS, we have with us Sai Prasad. Yeah, thank you, Garrick. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Sai Prasad Raut. I'm working with uh, WorldPay from FIS as Chief Technology Advisor and also a co-chair with uh, Hedera's Governing Council Technical Steering and Product Committee. So, FIS WorldPay is the largest payment processor having rapidly growing business across the globe, including LATAM, Asia Pacific, North America, Europe. And we enable merchants to accept 40 plus payment methods, including Visa, MasterCard, 
and other alternate payment methods with a huge portfolio of merchants, vendors, partners, and schemes. So unique offering by DLT as a potential to disrupt the traditional ways of dealing with data and sharing the information. The trust layer with the DLT uh, and the security with the consensus mechanism would tick all the check marks for a company like WorldPay from compliance, security, and the risk perspective. So why we chose Hedera? So when we looked at Hedera, it met all the criteria that any DLT offers on top of that. It is fastest and most secure DLT that offers third generation public ledger with minimal fees and is also carbon negative. And that was the win for, for Hedera for us to choose the Hedera and become the governance council member. So me as a co-chair on the technical steering and the product committee with Lehman, and we collectively and collaboratively make sure to grow Hedera by referring to HIPS and other community initiatives. And some of those initiatives that we all were excited about open sourcing Hashgraph algorithm and also the smart contract 2.0. And both this together is a game changer and will enable broader market participation and the developer community participation to build and deploy decentralized apps. And Lehman's vision of the shared worlds uh, with this smart contract 2.0 will revolutionize the Web3 world, including the metaverse and other blockchain use cases. So I'm very bullish on having this smart contract 2.0 offering by Hedera, along with open sourcing Hashgraph algorithm is going to open a lot of different opportunities for the startups and the enterprise across the world. So as we mentioned, token came fully online on Hedera in 2021 and with the launch of Hedera token service. And there are since meaningful explorations of tokens and payments with the enterprise on Hedera. So we at FIS from WorldPay, we are running a node on with Hedera. And we are also participating in the Hashport network, which is the bridge between Ethereum, Polygon, and the Hedera assets. One of the interesting use cases that we have seen from the DLA Piper, which is one of the world's largest law firms, they have built Toko, a tokenized assets platform, which focused on exchange of high value assets. The other use case that we have also seen from FPOS, which is the major payment processor in Australia, they have investigated using Hedera as the new payment trail to support online micropayments. One more, which I should uh, also mention here from Shinhan Bank, and they have con conducted their first proof of concept in effort to use the stable coins to reduce the cost and time to manage the cross border settlement using the Hedera token service and the consensus service altogether. So these are all the different payment specific use cases that has been built on top of the Hedera's overall offerings using consensus and the token service. So what could be the next with the smart contract 2.0? So DeFi or the decentralized finance is an interesting sector in crypto. And its growth is strong since 76% of open source developers in 2021. And even businesses are starting to look towards high yields on their project. Thus far, the distributed ledger, this world's like enterprise and the crypto native applications like DeFi have been divided. So they were completely separate. What if we start to see these lines blur and what if the enterprise use cases like supply chains, stable coins, bridges come together to see a new world? And this area is ripe for innovation. And one I believe Hedera is uniquely positioned for to help this navigate. The new Hedera smart contract service 2.0 can help us connect and start to work more seamlessly across the web two and the Web3 universes. The Hedera Governance Council and the Technical Committee, we are excited to participate in this effort and work alongside the Hedera ecosystem openly through Hedera improvement proposals to identify, develop, and march towards more decentralized future. Thank you, Cypressat. Fascinating insight and a ton to unpack there. If you are looking to use smart contracts, I suggest you try out Hedera. Get started on the testnet at portal.hedera.com. If you already have an existing smart contract project and are looking to scale it or need some more support, check out the HBAR Foundation. They've already issued over $20 million worth in grants.
Thanks so much for joining us. I'm excited to see the future that we're going to build together.